A beacon of modern culture, Rihanna's mysterious allure goes far beyond mere stardom, it encapsulates an ever-evolving story of ambition, creativity and unabashed charm. Flinch, in this fascinating exploration, we delve into the multifaceted world of one of pop culture's most enigmatic figures. From her meteoric rise in the music industry to pioneering projects in fashion and beauty, Rihanna's journey unfolds like a tapestry of ambition and innovation. In today's video, we're shedding light on the layers of her illustrious lifestyle. Taking a look at the luxury areas of her net worth, her career arcs, and her the shiny garage that houses her prized car collection. Let's dive in now. Rihanna, the Barbadian sensation known for her music, acting, and entrepreneurial ventures, has soared to unprecedented heights in the world of entertainment and business. With a staggering net worth of $1,700,000,000, she stands as the wealthiest female musician globally. Central to Rihanna's financial success is her groundbreaking venture, the Fenty Beauty Line, a collaboration with luxury conglomerate LVMH. This cosmetic brand, of which Rihanna retains a 50% stake, commands a valuation between $2 to $3 billion, driving in excess of $100 million in revenue. Additionally, her ownership of 30% in the lingerie brand Savage X Fenty bolsters her financial portfolio, with the brand currently valued at approximately $1 billion. Rihanna's annual earnings, ranging between $40 to $80 million, underscore the continuous growth of her expansive empire. From June 2018 to June 2019, she amassed an impressive $65 million, followed by $45 million in the subsequent fiscal year. The trajectory of Rihanna's success traces back to her meteoric rise in 2005 with the release of her debut album, Music of the Sun. Since then, she has captivated audiences worldwide through her music, acting endeavors, and fashion endeavors, cementing her status as a global icon. With over 60 million albums and 120 million singles sold, she reigns as the best-selling digital musician in history. Rihanna's achievements extend beyond musical prowess, as evidenced by her record-breaking 12 number one singles on the Billboard charts, making her the youngest solo artist to achieve such a feat. Her accolades span across various industries, garnering recognition from prestigious award bodies and solidifying her legacy as a trailblazer in contemporary culture. Robin Rihanna Fenty, born on February 20, 1988, in St. Michael, Barbados, emerged from humble beginnings to become a global phenomenon in the world of music and entertainment. Born to Monica and Ronald Fenty, Rihanna's childhood was marked by both moments of resilience and challenges. Growing up in Bridgetown, Barbados, Rihanna experienced the complexities of family life firsthand. Her parents' marriage was strained due to her father's struggles with alcoholism and cocaine addiction, which often led to domestic turmoil. Rihanna vividly remembers the distressing scenes of her father's physical abuse towards her mother, prompting her to intervene in an attempt to defuse the confrontations. Despite the adversities at home, Rihanna's spirit remained strong. However, her childhood was further compounded by health issues, including severe headaches that necessitated multiple CT scans. The possibility of a tumor loomed over her, adding to the weight of her young shoulders. At the age of 14, Rihanna faced another significant upheaval when her parents divorced. Surprisingly, this transition marked a turning point in her life, coinciding with an improvement in her health. Encouraged by newfound stability, Rihanna's journey towards self-discovery and artistic expression gained momentum. Music became her solace and passion. Growing up, she immersed herself in the rhythms of reggae, shaping her musical sensibilities and inspiring her creative endeavors. Her education at Charles F. Broom Memorial Primary School and Combermere School laid the foundation for her future, where she crossed paths with future cricket stars Chris Jordan and Carlos Brathwaite. During her formative years, Rihanna also found herself in the Barbados Corps of Cadets, an experience that instilled discipline and camaraderie. Notably, her drill sergeant was none other than Chantel, a fellow Barbadian singer-songwriter. While Rihanna initially contemplated completing her education, her unwavering passion for music beckoned her towards a different path. Fueled by determination and raw talent, she embarked on a journey towards stardom, daring to dream beyond the confines of her upbringing. In 2003, Rihanna, then just a teenager from Barbados with big dreams, embarked on a journey that would forever change her life. Teaming up with two classmates, she formed a band, their ambitions soaring higher than the palm trees that swayed in the Caribbean breeze. With no name or formalities, they braved an audition with American record producer Evan Rogers, their hearts pounding with anticipation. 
Rihanna's raw talent shone through in her demo, catching the attention of Jay Brown, an executive at Def Jam Recordings. He wasted no time in sharing her music with none other than rap icon Jay-Z. Recently crowned as the president and CEO of Def Jam, it was a fortuitous encounter that would alter the course of Rihanna's destiny. In early 2005, Rihanna found herself in the bustling streets of New York City, auditioning for Def Jam. Jay-Z, a towering figure in the music industry, introduced her to Antonio Le Reed, a titan in his own right. With nerves of steel, Rihanna belted out tunes, including a soulful rendition of Whitney Houston's For the Love of You, along with her own demos, Pond de Replay, and The Last Time. It was the pulsating rhythm of Pond de Replay that resonated deeply with Jay-Z, sealing the deal for Rihanna's signing with Def Jam. With the ink barely dry on her contract, Rihanna plunged headfirst into the recording studio, under the guidance of Rogers and his partner, Carl Sturkin. The stage was set for Rihanna's debut, and amidst a plethora of options, Ponda Replay emerged as the chosen one, heralding the arrival of a new sensation. Released in May 2005, the song soared up the charts, igniting dance floors and hearts worldwide. It ascended to the upper echelons of music charts in 15 countries, including a formidable number two spot on the US Billboard Hot 100. With momentum building, Rihanna's debut album, Music of the Sun, burst onto the scene in August 2005, capturing the essence of her Caribbean roots. Debuting at number 10 on the Billboard 200, the album received gold certification. Its infectious beats and soulful melodies captivated audiences, propelling sales to over 2 million copies globally, though the follow-up single, If It's Lovin' That You Want, may not have replicated the dizzying success of its predecessor, it found its place among the top 10 in Australia, Ireland, and New Zealand, further solidifying Rihanna's presence on the international stage. In the early months of 2007, Rihanna's musical journey took an electrifying turn with her collaboration on the single, Roll It, alongside Jamaican band Jay Status and fellow Barbadian artist Chantel. While the track found its place on Jay Status' inaugural album, The Beginning, released mainly in European markets, it laid the groundwork for Rihanna's imminent rise to global stardom. The meteoric ascent came in the form of Umbrella, the sensational lead single that catapulted Rihanna to the zenith of the music charts. Dominating airwaves across 13 countries, Umbrella made history by reigning atop the UK charts for an impressive 10 consecutive weeks, a feat not achieved since Wet Wet Wet's Love Is All Around in 1994. With over 8 million copies sold worldwide, Umbrella marked Rihanna's inaugural entry into the pantheon of best-selling singles. As the late 2000s unfolded, Rihanna embarked on an audacious musical odyssey, traversing the realms of pop, dubstep, and rock, transcending the confines of her Barbadian roots. Collaborating with a constellation of female artists, she lent her voice to the charity anthem, Just Stand Up, in August 2008, amplifying the message of resilience in the face of cancer. November 2009 witnessed the unveiling of Rihanna's fourth studio album, Rated R, a magnum opus hailed by Rolling Stone magazine as a sonic revelation. With its brooding undertones and avant-garde soundscapes, Rated R heralded a departure from Rihanna's earlier works, earning critical acclaim while debuting at a commendable fourth position on the US Billboard 200 chart. The summer of 2010 witnessed another watershed moment in Rihanna's career as she collaborated with rap luminary Eminem on the chart-topping anthem, Love the Way You Lie. This international sensation ascended to the summit of over 20 countries' music charts, becoming the UK's best-selling single of 2010 and marking a significant milestone in Rihanna's discography. November 2011 heralded the arrival of Rihanna's sixth studio album, Talk That Talk, a tour de force that captured the zeitgeist of contemporary music. Lead single, We Found Love, emerged as a global phenomenon, shattering records and reigning atop charts in 27 countries. Its 10-week dominance on the Billboard Hot 100 solidified Rihanna's status as a reigning monarch of pop. Undeterred by past triumphs, Rihanna unveiled her seventh studio album, Unapologetic, in November 2012, marking her maiden foray into the echelons of Billboard's top spot. Spearheaded by the chart-topping anthem, Diamonds, the album cemented Rihanna's standing as a powerhouse vocalist and cultural icon, garnering accolades and adulation from fans and critics alike. In February 2013, Rihanna, the chart-topping sensation, clinched her sixth Grammy Award at the prestigious 55th Grammy Awards ceremony. The coveted accolade was bestowed upon her for the mesmerizing, We Found Love, 2011, 
recognized as the best short-form music video. Her triumph on the global stage reaffirmed her status as a musical powerhouse, commanding attention and admiration from fans worldwide. The awards continue to pour in as Rihanna's influence transcends borders. In the UK, her musical prowess reigned supreme, with the official charts company revealing a staggering sales figure of around 3,800,000 records throughout the year. This monumental achievement catapulted Rihanna to the top of the 2013 Brit Artist shortlist, cementing her status as an icon in British music. A pivotal moment in Rihanna's career unfolded with the release of 4 5 Seconds, a collaboration featuring Kanye West and Paul McCartney. This eclectic fusion of musical talents captivated audiences worldwide, heralding a new chapter in Rihanna's sonic evolution. While subsequent singles, Bitch Better Have My Money, and American Oxygen, failed to secure spots on Rihanna's eighth studio album. They resonated with fans, further cementing her status as a trendsetter in contemporary music. In late 2015, Rihanna inked a groundbreaking $25 million deal with Samsung, ushering in a new era of strategic partnerships in the music industry. Under the terms of the agreement, Samsung would sponsor the release of her highly anticipated eighth studio album, alongside an accompanying tour, while Rihanna would lend her star power to promote Samsung's Galaxy product line. True to form, Rihanna's eighth studio album, Anti, made waves upon its exclusive release through the streaming service Tidal in 2016. Debuted at the summit of the US Billboard 200 chart, Anti marked Rihanna's second number one album and eighth top 10 hit. In September 2019, Rihanna's musical journey took an intriguing turn with her signing to Sony ATV Music Publishing, underscoring her commitment to artistic innovation and collaboration. However, fans faced a moment of anticipation and uncertainty when Rihanna halted the completion and release of her album indefinitely. A decision she candidly shared on Instagram in December 2019. Nevertheless, Rihanna's triumphant return to the musical spotlight came in October 2022 with the release of Lift Me Up, the lead single from the Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, soundtrack. The haunting melody earned her coveted Golden Globe and Academy Award nominations for Best Original Song, reaffirming Rihanna's status as a trailblazer in the global music industry and setting the stage for her continued reign as a cultural icon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the part we look forward to the most. Now we take you on an exclusive tour of her residence. Mansion in Beverly Hills. In 2009, Rihanna made a bold move by investing $6,900,000 in a lavish villa nestled in the prestigious enclave of Beverly Hills. The sprawling 10,000-square-foot estate, with its sleek glass facade, soaring ceilings, and wooden floors, exuded a chic and modern ambiance befitting the burgeoning music sensation. Comprising eight bedrooms and ten bathrooms, the villa offered ample space for Rihanna's burgeoning lifestyle. Floor-to-ceiling windows provided breathtaking views of the valley below, while the expansive backyard, complete with a shimmering pool and tiled terrace, offered a serene retreat amidst the hustle and bustle of Los Angeles. Inside, the villa boasted an open-plan kitchen outfitted with state-of-the-art fixtures and an entertainment room perfect for hosting glamorous soirees. From the sleek design to the luxurious amenities, Rihanna's Beverly Hills retreat epitomized the epitome of rockstar living. However, amidst the glamour and opulence, the villa harbored hidden woes. Major water leaks and structural issues plagued the property, causing Rihanna considerable distress. In 2011, she made the difficult decision to list the troubled villa for sale at a significantly reduced price of $4,500,000, seeking to rid herself of the burdensome property. Simultaneously, Rihanna took legal action, filing a lawsuit alleging that she had been misled about the villa's condition at the time of purchase. Structural problems, including balconies with unusual slopes that channeled rainwater directly into the house, underscored the magnitude of the villa's challenges. The next few years, Rihanna and ASAP Rocky, the dynamic power couple, have made their home in a breathtaking colonial-style mansion nestled in the heart of Beverly Hills, California. Their opulent abode, acquired for a staggering $13,800,000 in December 2021, epitomizes luxury living at its finest. Situated in the prestigious post office area, the mansion enjoys the exclusivity of a secluded cul-de-sac, a coveted enclave favored by Hollywood's elite. Originally constructed in the 1930s, the estate has undergone extensive renovations, boasting five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and sprawling across a vast 22,000-square-foot lot. Step inside, and one is greeted by a gourmet chef's kitchen adorned with pure white marble countertops, herringbone wood floors, 
and not one, but two expansive islands complete with private gold sinks. Modern appliances, including a large wine fridge and state-of-the-art ovens, cater to the couple's culinary desires. For fitness enthusiasts, the open-plan fitness center beckons, featuring an outdoor terrace equipped with exercise paraphernalia, offering panoramic views of the meticulously landscaped grounds. Meanwhile, the modern family room exudes contemporary elegance, adorned with plush furnishings and accentuated by floor-to-ceiling windows offering vistas of the verdant gardens and shimmering pool. Entertainment is paramount in this palatial retreat, with an indoor-outdoor dining area designed to host lavish soirees. The chic living room provides an ideal setting for cocktail gatherings, while the barroom, replete with a wood-burning fireplace and color-coordinated bookshelves, exudes an aura of sophistication. Bedrooms, each spacious enough to accommodate king-sized beds, offer private terraces or balconies overlooking the lush backyard oasis. From neutral tones to vibrant leaf print wallpaper, the bedrooms reflect diverse aesthetics, catering to individual tastes. The master suite, boasting a marble ensuite with a luxurious bathtub, a sprawling walk-in closet, and a dressing room area fit for royalty. Outside, the meticulously landscaped grounds feature a luxurious pool and cabana area, providing the ultimate setting for relaxation and recreation. As evening descends, the enchanting ambience is further enhanced by multiple fire pits, offering cozy retreats for intimate gatherings under the starlit sky. Mansion in Hollywood Hills Located in the sun-drenched Hollywood Hills of Los Angeles, lies Rihanna's meticulously renovated mansion. Acquired in 2017 for a whopping $9,800,000, this palatial residence offers panoramic views of Nichols Canyon, serenely nestled above the bustling boulevards of Hollywood. The appeal of Rihanna's mansion lies not only in its breathtaking setting but also in its vast proportions. Spread across 7,100 square feet, the residence includes a main residence and a detached guest suite, with a total of six bedrooms and eight full-sized bathrooms, ensuring ample space for relaxation and entertaining. Designed in a new Mediterranean style, the residence exudes timeless elegance with its classic stucco exterior and terracotta tile roof. Stepping through the glass and steel-framed double doors, visitors are welcomed into a foyer decorated with high ceilings and arched doors, evoking a sense of grandeur and sophistication. Throughout the residence, Mediterranean influences abound, from the stone and wood floors to the abundance of arched doors and windows that flood the interior with natural light. In the formal living room, a copper fireplace and miniature chandelier serve as focal points, while the dining room basks in the warm glow of natural light streaming in from the canyon beyond. The heart of the home lies in the exquisitely appointed kitchen, featuring a black T-shaped marble island in the middle, a culinary paradise for aspiring chefs and culinary enthusiasts alike. Real, additional amenities include a home theater, gym, billiards room and spa-like bathrooms, replete with freestanding tubs nestled next to sun-drenched windows. Outside, a luxurious haven awaits, with a sparkling swimming pool and hot tub nestled between the main house and guest suites, providing an oasis of tranquility amid the bustling cityscape. Recently sold for $9,500,000, Rihanna's mansion epitomizes the quintessential California dream, where breathtaking views and luxurious amenities come together to create an idyllic sanctuary worthy of being a global icon. Mansion in Barbados Hailing from the serene shores of Barbados, Robin Rihanna Fenty's humble beginnings shaped her into the global icon she is today. Growing up in a modest wooden house on Westbury New Road, Rihanna's childhood home exuded rustic charm and simplicity. Reflecting the essence of her upbringing, despite traversing the globe and acquiring real estate in far-flung locales, Rihanna's heart remained tethered to her roots. In 2013, she returned to Barbados, investing in a breathtaking beachfront property nestled within the luxurious enclave of One Sandy Lane in Paynes Bay. Spread across 10,000 square feet, this opulent abode is a veritable haven of indulgence, boasting a fully equipped gym, outdoor swimming pool, and round-the-clock concierge service. The architectural marvel of Rihanna's Barbados retreat seamlessly blends Victorian elegance with Greek-inspired accents, creating an ambiance of grandeur and sophistication. The elaborate entryway, adorned with Greek column details, beckons visitors into a world of unparalleled luxury. The mansion's design pays homage to traditional Barbadian architecture, incorporating elements from the garrison and chattel houses while enveloping the surroundings in lush greenery. A sweeping spiral staircase, adorned with handcrafted railing details, serves as a focal point, connecting the two floors with effortless grace. 
Throughout the residence, a pristine white palette reigns supreme, interspersed with warm neutrals and ambient lighting, creating an atmosphere of serenity and refinement. One of the most enchanting features of Rihanna's beachfront retreat is its seamless integration with the natural landscape. An outdoor setting, overlooking the azure waves, provides an idyllic backdrop for moments of relaxation and contemplation, an oasis of tranquility plucked from Rihanna's childhood memories. In every corner, Rihanna's Barbados sanctuary exudes an aura of magnificence and beauty, a testament to her unwavering commitment to excellence and her deep-rooted connection to her homeland. Apartment in Century City, Los Angeles Rihanna, fresh from her electrifying performance at Super Bowl 57, is embracing a new chapter in her life as she prepares for the arrival of her first and second children. In March 2023, she made a significant investment in her family's future by acquiring a sprawling penthouse nestled in the heart of Century City. Los Angeles, purchased from tech magnate Nick Molnar, the 9,290-square-foot sanctuary provides an idyllic retreat for Rihanna and her growing family. Originally listed at a staggering $28 million, Rihanna's shrewd negotiation skills secured the property for less than $7 million. The penthouse, once owned by beloved friend star Matthew Perry, exudes an aura of sophistication and opulence, boasting four bedrooms and seven bathrooms adorned with luxurious finishes. Upon entering, guests are greeted by a private elevator that opens into the grandeur of the penthouse's interior. Hardwood floors lead the way to an elegant dining room, complemented by an all-white kitchen featuring marble countertops, dual islands, and state-of-the-art appliances. Entertainment reigns supreme in Rihanna's sanctuary, with a soundproof cinema outfitted with plush velvet couches and a master suite that epitomizes luxury living. The curved bedroom, double wardrobes, and dual bathrooms offer a haven of tranquility amidst the hustle and bustle of the city. However, it is the penthouse's crowning glory that truly captivates the senses' four separate outdoor terraces offering breathtaking panoramic views of the Pacific Ocean. Downtown Los Angeles and Mount Baldy, each terrace, facing north, south, east, and west, provides an enchanting backdrop for intimate gatherings and moments of reflection. Despite its lavish amenities, Rihanna's penthouse requires a monthly investment of approximately $8,000 in WA fees. However, these fees give residents access to unparalleled luxury, including four parking spaces in the underground garage, 24-7 security and concierge services, and perks like swimming pools outdoor swimming pool. Garden and storage, completing the penthouse's appeal are on-site amenities, including a fully equipped fitness center, in-house restaurant and conference room, ensuring that every aspect of your lifestyle as Rihanna's products are given the utmost care down to every detail. But dear viewers, the story continues as we take you to see the beauty of her shiny car collection now. Cars Renowned music sensation Rihanna has curated an impressive car collection that reflects her diverse tastes and penchant for luxury. From high-performance sports cars to sophisticated family SUVs, Rihanna's fleet showcases her affinity for fine automobiles. Among the jewels of Rihanna's collection is the illustrious Maybach 57S, a symbol of opulence and extravagance. As the pinnacle of luxury modification for Mercedes vehicles, the Maybach 57S boasts a twin-turbo V12 AMG engine with a capacity of 6 liters, delivering an impressive 604 horsepower and a maximum torque of 1,000 Nm. With a top speed of 250 km per hour and acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 5 seconds, the Maybach 57S epitomizes luxury and performance. Another standout in Rihanna's lineup is the Lamborghini Aventador, a testament to her passion for driving and automotive excellence. Powered by a formidable 6-liter naturally aspirated V12 engine, the Aventador churns out an astonishing 740 horsepower and 531 pound-feet of torque offering an exhilarating driving experience. With a price tag nearing $400,000, the Aventador is the epitome of Italian craftsmanship and engineering prowess. Porsche enthusiasts will appreciate Rihanna's inclusion of the 997 Turbo S in her collection, renowned for its agile handling and unparalleled performance. Equipped with a 4-liter twin-turbo flat-six engine, the 997 Turbo S delivers a staggering 640 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque, propelling it from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 3 seconds. With its sleek design and superior handling, the 997 Turbo S embodies the essence of German engineering. No celebrity car collection would be complete without a Ferrari, and Rihanna's garage boasts the iconic Ferrari 488 GTV. 
with its 4-liter twin-turbo V8 engine generating 661 horsepower and 761 newton-meters of torque, the 488 GTB is a testament to Ferrari's legacy of automotive excellence. As one of the most sought-after supercars in the world, the 488 GTB is a fitting addition to Rihanna's esteemed collection. Rounding out her lineup is the classic BMW 328i, a testament to timeless German engineering and performance. Although an older model, the BMW 328i remains a favorite among celebrities. Featuring a 2-liter 4-cylinder twin-power turbocharged engine producing 245 horsepower and 350 newton-meters of torque. With its sleek design and powerful performance, the BMW 328i exemplifies Rihanna's discerning taste in luxury automobiles. In Rihanna's collection, each car tells a story of sophistication, performance, and style, reflecting her status as a global icon with a penchant for the finer things in life. Luxury Accessories Rihanna's sense of style isn't just fashionable it's also incredibly luxurious, reflecting her substantial investment in her appearance. When it comes to handbags, Rihanna doesn't hold back. She's been spotted with some of the most coveted designer bags, including a limited-edition Dior graffiti bag worth $5,000, a vibrant red Jimmy Choo bag also priced at $5,000, a sleek Louis Vuitton handbag valued at $6,000, and a chic baby blue Stalvi bag priced at $7,000, among others. During her stunning Super Bowl performance, Rihanna adorned her wrist with a dazzling red Jacob & Company watch adorned with stones, worth a staggering $72,000. She's also been seen sporting a Patek Philippe Nautilus flyback chronograph, a timepiece that commands around $110,000. At the 2018 Grammy Awards, Rihanna accessorized with chocolate diamonds jewelry, a choice that's been making a popular comeback. Her necklace alone was valued at an impressive $130,000. Another timepiece that caught attention was her $130,000 white gold shopper watch. Adding a touch of elegance to her ensemble, during a fashion event in Paris, Rihanna stunned the crowd with eight-carat diamond earrings, a dazzling accessory valued at approximately $250,000. For her 30th birthday celebration, Rihanna spared no expense, donning a glamorous dress and an array of jewelry that totaled a jaw-dropping $1 million. At a secret post-Oscar party hosted by Beyoncé, Rihanna took luxury to the next level with custom-made jewelry pieces that collectively amounted to an astonishing $2,600,000. Rihanna's fashion choices aren't just about looking good they're a statement of opulence and extravagance. With her impeccable taste and willingness to invest in high-end fashion and accessories, Rihanna continues to set trends and captivate audiences with her unparalleled sense of style. Business Rihanna's journey into the world of fragrances and fashion has been nothing short of remarkable marking her as a powerhouse entrepreneur in addition to her illustrious music career. In January 2011, Rihanna introduced her debut perfume, Rebel Fleur, to the world. Rolling Stone reported that Rebel Fleur was a huge hit, with retail sales expected to soar to a staggering $80 million by the end of 2011. Following the success of Rebel Fleur, Rihanna unveiled her second fragrance, Rebel, in February 2012 with director Anthony Mandler capturing its advertising campaign. In November 2012, she launched Nude, her third fragrance, followed by Rogue for Women in September 2013 and Rogue Men in 2014. Venturing into fashion, Rihanna took on the role of creative director for Puma's women's line in 2014, spearheading apparel and footwear collaborations. Her inaugural sneaker release with Puma sold out online within three hours of its pre-launch in 2015, igniting a wave of success. The following year, Rihanna debuted her clothing line in partnership with Puma at New York Fashion Week, garnering praise from fashion critics. In November 2015, Rihanna and Benoit de Moy established FR8 Me, a beauty and styling agency in Los Angeles, aimed at assisting artists with various projects, from commercials to red carpet appearances. This endeavor reflected Rihanna's deep involvement in the creative process, particularly in hair, makeup, and styling. Additionally, she founded the photo agency, a dog ate my homework, representing renowned photographers Eric Asla and Deborah Anderson. Rihanna's groundbreaking move into cosmetics came in 2017 with the launch of Fenty Beauty under LVMH's Kendo Brands brand. Fenty Beauty made waves with its diverse range of products catering to all skin tones, earning accolades such as Time Magazine's 25 Best Inventions of 2017. The success continued in 2018 with the introduction of Savage X Fenty, 
a lingerie brand celebrated for its inclusive approach to sizing and representation of plus-size models. Building on her legacy, Rihanna unveiled Fenty, her eponymous luxury fashion brand under LVMH, in May 2019. With its debut, Rihanna became the first woman to create an original brand for LVMH. Breaking barriers in the fashion industry, Fenty's launch was met with widespread acclaim for its boundary-pushing designs and commitment to inclusivity. In July 2020, Rihanna expanded her empire into skincare with the introduction of Fenty Skin, further solidifying her status as a trailblazer in the beauty and fashion realms. Through her diverse array of ventures, Rihanna continues to inspire and empower people worldwide, leaving an indelible mark on the worlds of fragrance, fashion, and beauty. Rihanna, known for her chart-topping music career, is also a philanthropist dedicated to making a positive impact on the world through various charitable endeavors. Philanthropy In 2006, she took a significant step by establishing the Believe Foundation, a charitable organization focused on aiding children battling terminal illnesses. Rihanna's commitment to philanthropy continued in 2007 when she became one of the Cartier Love Bracelet Ambassadors, each representing a distinct global charity. The following year, in February 2008, Rihanna, alongside other celebrities, lent her creative touch to design outfits for the H&M Fashion Against AIDS line aiming to raise awareness and funds for the fight against HIV, AIDS. Taking her charitable efforts further, Rihanna orchestrated a series of charity concerts in 2008 under the banner, A Girl's Night Out. These concerts, offered free to the public, aimed to raise funds for the Believe Foundation. The proceeds from sponsors and advertisers contributed to providing essential medical and school supplies, as well as toys, to children in need. In September 2008, Rihanna collaborated with 15 other female artists on the song, Just Stand Up, for the Stand Up to Cancer television special. The proceeds from the single were directed towards cancer research, and the television event successfully raised an impressive $100 million for the cause. In 2012, Rihanna established the Clara Lionel Foundation, CLF, in honor of her grandparents, Clara and Lionel Braithwaite. The foundation supports various programs including the Clara Braithwaite Center for Cancer and Nuclear Medicine in Barbados and Educational Initiatives. One of CLF's notable endeavors is the annual Diamond Ball Charity Fundraising Event, which raised over $2 million during its inaugural edition in 2014 and surpassed $3 million in the following year. Rihanna's dedication to philanthropy continued with a benefit show at the House of Blues in 2012, aiming to raise funds for the Children's Orthopedic Center and the Mark Taper Johnny Mercer Artist Program at Children's Hospital. In times of crisis, such as Hurricane Sandy in 2012 and the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, Rihanna swiftly stepped in with substantial donations. Her contributions to various causes include $100,000 to a food bank for Hurricane Sandy relief, participation in the Mac Viva Glam campaign in 2014 benefiting those affected by HIV, AIDS, and substantial donations for COVID-19 relief efforts. Rihanna's Clara Lionel Foundation has also championed climate justice and resilience. In 2022, the foundation allocated a substantial 13 million euros toward climate justice initiatives, underscoring Rihanna's commitment to addressing critical global issues beyond her musical endeavors. Personal life Rihanna's journey through relationships has been widely scrutinized by the media, showcasing the highs and lows of her personal life. In 2007, Rihanna entered a relationship with American singer Chris Brown, a union that came to a tumultuous end in February 2009 due to a highly publicized domestic violence incident. Following this, Rihanna embarked on an on-again, off-again romance with Canadian rapper Drake, spanning from 2009 to 2016. However, in a Rolling Stone interview in January 2013, Rihanna revealed that she had reignited her connection with Chris Brown a decision that drew attention given his probationary status related to their earlier domestic violence incident. The media had speculated about their reunion throughout 2012. Unfortunately, the rekindled relationship did not last, with Chris Brown announcing their breakup in May 2013. Moving forward, in 2017, Rihanna found companionship with Saudi Arabian businessman Hassan Jamil. Their relationship endured until January 2020. A new chapter in Rihanna's love life unfolded on May 19, 2021, when American rapper ASAP Rocky confirmed their relationship in an interview with GQ. The couple's journey took a significant turn when, on January 31, 2022, reports surfaced that Rihanna and ASAP Rocky were expecting their first child. 
The news was officially confirmed on May 19, 2022, when Rihanna gave birth to a son. The couple named him RZA Athelastan Mayers, a tribute to the Wu-Tang Clan leader and founder RZA. Their family expanded again on August 1, 2023, with the arrival of their second son, named Riot Rose Mayers. Notably, during the Super Bowl 57 halftime show on February 12, 2023, Rihanna made headlines by announcing her pregnancy with her second child, creating a historic moment as the first person to headline a Super Bowl halftime show while pregnant. This exciting development was later confirmed on the cover of her family's British Vogue issue, released shortly after her Super Bowl appearance. Rihanna's journey through love, motherhood, and her evolving family life continues to captivate the public's interest. Thank you for watching the entire video. Please leave your comments in the section below. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.